everybody, it's Jimmy Perry from Problem.Website, your go-to resource for all beginning problems and information. And today I am in the vehicle. I just got back from the gym, as you can tell from my shirt. You probably not, this looks like a regular shirt, but I got out the gym. Um, and today I'm here to answer a question, which is, can, does cardio make you weaker? Yes, cardio can make you weaker if you're doing cardio. Like, it depends on what kind of cardio you're doing and how much of it you're doing. If you're doing, like, a regular, like, like for me, I do, if I do any, like, steady rate, steady state cardio, I'll do, like, 30 minutes of incline walking at the end of my workout because that's like an assistance thing just for conditioning and to get my heart rate up it's not for like it's not my main exercise so if you're doing like an hour on the treadmill or just jogging of course you're gonna burn yourself out. of course you're gonna get weaker in your lifts if you're doing especially if you're doing that before you do any type of strength based movement so um but yeah i'm just gonna paraphrase here obviously i'm gonna link out to this in the um description so check out the, the Check out the post if you want to see the full thing. Um, oh, yeah. And before I tell you anything else, I have a book, for an FAQ, FAQ kind of book for all beginning, like, beginning information if you want to be a power lifter. So that'll be coming out in the next few weeks to a month. So stay tuned for that. I'm just in, it's already written and everything. I'm just getting it tweaked and, you know, finishing everything up. It didn't take very, it was so easy. How It's so crazy how all this information just started to fly out of my head. But, um, so, yeah. I bet right right now, obviously, and I also have resources from other people, and I have a video in the article from Alan Thrall that talks about stress and allocating stress to movements that actually matter. Um, but the way I do my cardio is, and I got this from what's the guy's name? I know him, the White Rhino. What's his name? Can't remember it right now, even though he's a guy I watch on a regular basis, and I feel pretty bad for, pretty feel pretty bad for that. But yeah, basically. I do my strength movements, and this is—I got this from the guy. So I'm gonna—I'm gonna link out to him. Or I'm gonna put him in the description because I feel bad for not being able to remember his name. But I do my cardio, and then I mean I do my strength-based movements. So I do my sets of heavy weight, and then I do my assistance movements. And since I do three to four assistance movements, I lift the same weight, but I try and move through it faster. You know how you know you're improving. You know if you're improving by lifting either more weight in the same amount of time or lifting the same weight in a shorter period of time. I lift the same amount of weight and I aim for shorter periods of time, and that's how I'm obviously that's speeding my heart rate up. And when I do this, I pick 50% to 60% of my one rep max. And then I go from there. Um, obviously, there's more scientific stuff in here, the article, so you can check that out if you want to see more. But that's pretty much if you want to get your heart rate up and you don't want to run all the time, and running will take away from your ability to lift heavy weights, or jogging will take away from your ability to lift heavy weights. I know I feel burnt out when I do it. So just allocate the stress to movements that actually matter and just speed them up. That'll get your heart rate moving. And it's not the only. What's it? Stan Efferding, that's his name. Stan Efferding said this. Um, he does this for conditioning. He's a bodybuilder slash powerlifter, and he owns a few businesses, I believe. So, I mean, he talks about this. He knows about this. So, that's where I got that from. Um, so, yeah. More videos like this will be coming out in the future. If you're interested, don't forget to check them out. And somebody just lost their balloons. That sucks. <laughs> and it looked like they're expensive. It's a teddy bear with a... Never mind. But, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. More videos like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more content. And stay tuned for the book. Peace.